I would like to begin by stating that, according to some medieval books, dragons were a real creature, and they preyed upon elephants in various ways. Oddly enough, elephants were essentially a mythic creature. Unicorns were mentioned as well, but that is beside the point. You can see in this illustration that the dragon is preying upon this elephant. If you observe the wings of the dragon, you can see that it is feathered, and not at all like a bat's wings. Now, one question which I would like to pose is how big should a dragon be? There will be a good many people who tell you that dragons should be fantastically massive. However, I do not see this as a practical suggestion. There is something called the square cubed law, which suggests that the larger a creature grows, the more the less likely it is to be able to fly. You can see here that one cube, if scaled up to be twice as tall, would contain the area of eight cubes. This would mean eight times the volume, eight times the weight, but only four times the surface area. As a consequence of only having four times the surface area, this would mean that a larger object would be less affected by wind. This could be this principle could be applied to a dragon's wings, meaning that a dragon's wings would need to be larger in order to support it in the air. So how large would a dragon's wings need to be? It gets ever more ludicrous the more one looks into it. And if you look at the greatest known flying creatures of the past, their wings are preposterously large. In fact, a large flying dragon would practically be nothing but wings. And so, it would be much more reasonable to scary, scale very large dragons down, or else have them be flightless. This might explain why the lance was a good weapon to face many dragons, for one would not have to reach a dragon in the air if it was of sufficient size, for the creature could not fly. Well, perhaps that has given you some food for thought, and your mind will grow in your ability to craft stories and think about imaginary worlds in a way that makes sense.